first time here. Hi, my name is Missa, and we're the, the pig who have you been all my life. <laughs> so today, as you can see by the title, I am gonna be using my Morphe 35M and doing this eye look here with it. I get requested to do looks with this palette all the time, all the time. I think partly because A, the greens in here are beautiful. I mean, other shades are nice too, but the greens, all about the greens. And um, partly because it's affordable. Do you know what I mean? So, what is it, 23 pounds for this palette? So yeah, I thought I would take on board some requests and do a look with it. We are gonna use like a glitter and things from NYX and I'm gonna do my skin in this video as well. I'm gonna do my whole face, but the skin portion will be quite fast. It is mostly all about the eyes and without any fanning around, any further fanning around, why don't we just jump into Hamish shutting the front door really loudly and yeah, let's get on with it. <sighs> just before I begin, I want to address all this like rash on my face. So on this side too, it's all down my neck. So just if you're like, oh Melissa, what's wrong with you? I think it is just my allergy to my um, TENS machine, I hope. Because if not, then I don't know what it is because it's literally, it's covering my shoulders, my legs, everything. So anyway, let's jump in. I thought I would use the newish ABH primer. I have tried this before, um, just when I was sitting playing with makeup on my own and not filming it, and I did not like it. Just, it's very patchy on me. It is very hard to blend out. It's very drying on my skin as well. But I am gonna use it just so you can see me it in use, not farting, just elbows. I'm not trying to be like real mean about it, but. Yeah, this is not a nice primer, in my opinion. Um, I think they do do minis. So if you're desperate to try it, I will grab the mini first because, yeah, I don't know, just something about it doesn't look good on my skin. Like, I don't know if you can see, like, it just looks super dry and like clingy for some reason. It started to dry down so it is super hard to actually blend out at this point. And so if you can see even on my eyelid it just like clings weirdly. Like concealer does not do this on me. I know I'm making a big deal out of this primer but it's just because it's super expensive and I'm just trying to show you what my kind of take is on it. But it does a really good coverage, like it does give you a super blank canvas. However, I mean I'm not a professional in any way, but how could someone with super deep skin use this? Because it's so pale, I'm gonna struggle to like blend my foundation in this area to make it look like just my eyelid isn't super pale and the rest of me is more tanned, do you know what I mean? Anyway, eyeshadow time. <laughs> I think Melissa. Naturally, I've lost the name sheet for the palette, so I'm gonna to point to what shade I'm using on the screen. Um, so first I'm going in with this super deep, deep, deep khaki green. And I'm gonna start by patting this on the outer corner. Sorry, this is just an unnamed Morphe brush. It's just super flat and really nice for packing on color. I'm just gonna take that underneath just a pinch. And that looks pretty good, right? But for hooded eye girls, drop your eye. Lose half your eyeshadow, so I'm just gonna make sure it's nice and rounded above my crease. And then I'm going in with a clean Morphe M506 and I'm just gonna very gently wiggle this around the corners, the edges I should say, just to soften them up for the next shade we go in with. I 
not wanting to drag that in much so then i'm gonna go in with the shade right beside it in the palette this kind of lighter khaki green one same brush and just wiggle this one around the edges And then just on the same brush again, just wiping off my makeup towel, 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 because I am. I'm picking up the next shade along, which is a kind of much brighter, kind of mossy green. So nice. And we're just gonna flippity flop that on again, around the edges. I'm sure you're getting the gist. This is a much quicker look than my previous in-depth um, eye tutorial as well, so it's always a good thing. Save a bit of time. I don't think the shadows are applying that badly over this eye primer as much as I was moaning about it. I just feel like they're not performing as well as they have done in the past and I've used all of these colours before. Um, I'm just taking that same shade and I'm just going to Put it here, just where that deep green stops. Just as a little bit of kind of blending, but we will come back to this anyway. Then I'm going to take this Morphe M562, which is this really like flippy floppy brush, and the next green shade along, which is the lightest kind of green. And this shade is just going to go all the way around everything that we've done. And I'm also going to pull this one all the way into that inner corner. I really like brushes like this. I find them so helpful for small hooded eyes and also just for really like seamless blending very helpful and so I'm just building up that color just a few dips in the pan but I mean aren't these green tones beautiful so you can still see that super harsh line. So I'm gonna go back in with that like deeper mossy green from the palette. And I'm gonna go back in around these edges. Some little circular motions. Just to help blend that out. And then I'm picking up the exact same Morphe brush that I used that deep, deep first green on and I'm just sipping into the black in the palette. Probably don't really need to point at that, it's the only one. And I'm going to pop this on my very outer corner. While a very noisy plane flies overhead. And then back in with my Morphe M506 and that first deepest green that we used. Just to blend out the edges of the black. And then some of that more mossy green one. Again, just, just to soften up the edges. feel like with other primers or with concealer even I've had better blends with this palette it's just something so dry about that ABH one and I'm like an ABH big big fan you know what I mean 
So we can come back to that out corner, outer corner blending, which we probably will, because I'm not entirely happy with it, but we'll start going in with our like metallics and gold glitters. So I'm gonna pick up the brightest gold in the palette on a flat brush, and I'm gonna wet it because I don't feel like these perform quite as good when they're dry and even when wet to be honest they're not the most impressive metallics in this palette but they're good enough for this look anyway so i'm taking that all the way around my crease at the front and this is going to go above the crease it is quite a diffused look. I mean, it's fine. That gold's actually it's, it's quite nice. I've got chunks of glitter. Where did they come from? It's kind of dragging it in to these deep shades on the lid. And then that same shade on a different Morphe M506 brush. Just to kind of diffuse it and make it a soft line, not a harsh line. Again. And then I'm going to dip into, I've forgotten what shade it was. I think it's this one. We'll see. And pop that just where the gold is hitting the black. I think it was this shade. Who actually knows? I haven't wet it because I don't want it to be like a standout point. I'm just trying to help blending. So that is what it looks like at this point. Now, I really cannot find my Stila, what's it called, gold something, golden glitter and glow. So I was gonna use this um, Smoldering Satin or Smoky Storm. Neither of them really work for what I need. So what I'm actually gonna use is NYX Glitter Gold's Liquid Eyeshadow, which I've actually never used before. This is my first time using it. This one is industrial beam and i never like applying straight from the wand so i'm using this crown c510 brush so i'm just gonna pull it out and then i just try and look at what i'm doing pick it up from the wand and i'm gonna start patting that over the whole front half of the eye and i'm patting it not swiping don't know why, I just find it gives me better results. So this is like metallic, it's not exactly like glitter and glow but it's in some ways similar, it does have glitter in it, it does have a nice pigment behind it. And when I'm getting up here, this area, I'm patting super gently because I kind of just want glitter particles to be dispersed and not like super metallic base like my lids got going on and again when I hit this side where it's starting to make these matte shadows I'm pressing super gently you could say with some trepidation just to disperse glitter particles and not pure gold pigment. Now I did find on this eye, I didn't give it enough time to set before I'd like opened my eye fully and blinked a few times and all that. So I am not going to even like open my eye fully. And it was a tiny bit patchy, but I don't know if that is the base. This brush, I need to cut off a couple of these hairs. I'm still keeping my eye completely closed almost. <laughs> oh no, I just cut into the brush. I mean, that was destined to, <laughs> destined to happen. 
I just love this kind of look because you don't have to worry about cutting your crease and trying to make it super precise and matchy. Like you'd have to obviously try and match it somewhat but it's a lot easier than like a formal, I'll call it a formal cut crease. It's just been a minute, I'm just going to add a pinch more just to my lid. Just to make sure it's as like metallic as possible. Oh, it's so reflective, it's like messing with my camera. So if I like turn down the brightness a pinch. It's just lovely. It's a gorgeous colour, that NYX one. Would recommend. As maybe a cheaper alternative to the Stila. Please stop. I feel like that looks super patchy. In fact, I don't know why I'm worrying about it, so I'm going to cover that up with liquid liner in a second. And I'm just going in with the BAM Schwing liquid liner just to do a kind of thinner to thicker-ish line, just so that my lashes kind of look better when they're on, you know? And I can be more messy when I apply them. Let's be real. So this is what the eyes are looking like at the moment. I think I'll zoom out and we'll do skin and things on camera. Not taking ages, but quite quickly. And then we will finish off obviously lower lash line and lashes. But yeah, pretty happy. I do think it looks, um, if I have a pointy brush, I do think it looks a little scaly. This is the one that it's been on much longer. This one's been on a shorter amount of time. The Stila's don't do that on me. I do find cheaper kind of alternatives go a bit scaly on my lid, but it's not cracked off or anything at this point. Um, but I will keep an eye on that. But yeah, let's zoom out and make ourselves look hot. So I'm starting off my face by using my e.l.f. Poreless Patty Primer in Universal Sheer. I'm just trying to kind of use this up to be honest. Not that I'm anywhere near using it up, but I bought it ages ago and haven't really used it, so that's what we're starting off with. Not really sure how much you're supposed to use, but I do have a different primer on my forehead. I put on a little bit of my Decium Hyaline Primer just because it fills in my wrinkles so well, but it is horrible on my T-zone, so yeah. Just, if you're wondering why I'm not putting it on my forehead. I'm then going in with my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. Absolutely love it. Best, bet my one of my favourites, apart from NARS Radiant in terms of high-end foundations. I'm wanting something with good coverage, you know, to cover up all these rash spots. And this is that. Then I'm going in with what is fast becoming a new favourite concealer, the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Use Sculpting Concealer. I'm using the shade Marshmallow by the way. She's got a really solid medium, like strong, strong medium coverage, but it's really lovely and hydrating. I do find that so would recommend. Blends in super well. Just an all round good egg of a concealer, you know? And yeah, by the way, I took that foundation all the way down my neck. Mm, mm, mm. Then I'm using a new kind of found favourite. I haven't used it twice to be fair. Makeup Obsession Pure Bake Lace Powder. It's really nice. And then for the rest of my face, I'm gonna use my Too Faced Banana Cream Press Powder just because I rarely reach for it. And I need to start using up the makeup that I own, you know? Thinking 
almost for some categories one in one out kind of thing you know Cheeky Pinch Revolution Skin Finish. To make my skin look a little bit more glossy, not so matte, you know? For contour, I'm gonna use my NYX Contour Palette, Highlight and Contour Pro Palette is what it's technically called. Like, why is it so warm toned and it's because I used the wrong shade and now I put way too much on definitely put too much contour on But it is me, it's me. And for bronzer, I'm gonna use my Maybelline City Bronzer. And um, this is in the shade Medium Warm 250, just cause again, I really never reach for it. And I should really reach for my makeup more. Nice bronzer. For highlight going in with a favourite, it's also super duper cheap, which is great. It's Obsession Mega Honey Highlighter. Three pounds and amazing. Get that chin, ladies. Don't let anybody stop you. Look at it. Look at it. It does give me a little bit of a cast, which is annoying. Um, but I didn't use like a really deep foundation on me today. It's one that's slightly too dark, so yeah. It is glorious, so like I love it so much. Um, and then just on my highlighting brush, I'm just gonna go back in with a bit more of Revolution opalescent just on these cheek one areas i love having that glow there these days i don't know what it is it's actually it under under what's the word exaggerates my um under eye troughs as they're called but don't even care I'm just kind of going over Mega Honey Low just because it is giving me a cast. Oh, I'm glossy. And for blush, I'm going to use my Natasha Denona Blush and Glow, which is a mini, and it's amazing. I'm just gonna nip off, finish off this under eye, and then we'll come back and do this one together just so I can kind of see what I'm doing and it'll be a bit faster for us. So the under eye is gonna be super, super simple. I'm gonna go in with that first like dark murky green shade that we used, just on a pencil brush. Just gonna nip that along here. And then I'm going to go with that nice kind of brighter mossy green. Nearer to the front. And just to kind of blend around. I always get to this part of my makeup where it comes like under eye and I'm just like done. Because I've been spending so long on it if I've been filming. So I tend to not do them too tricky. And then just a pinch of the black on the very outer corner. 
And then in with NYX Glitter Goals. Just using this little unnamed Morphe brush. I'm just gonna run that all the way. Not all the way, a third of the way and also on the inner corner. While I'm letting that dry, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Deep End for the waterline. Because the only other green I have is neon. And I don't want to use black. I mean, that's pretty much it. Bit of mascara. And then my lash is going to be Huda Beauty Farah. I just keep picking these up, I just like them. I'd like if they were maybe a bit thicker, but I do like what they look like overall. So for lips, I've just lined them with a sleek twist up lip pencil in Nude 995 and now I'm going in with Rimmel Stay Matte in Latte To Go because it's kind of like a weird yellowish nude and I think it'll go with the eye. We have reached the end of our journey today. Yay! I just want to get in bed and I want to watch Love Island unseen bits before Love Island starts. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what that's like. So this, of course, is the finished look with everything on, because that's what a finished look is. What do you think? Let me know down below, unless you're going to be super mean. And then do it anyway, and I'll just know to block you. <laughs> Got my trusty, massive, pretty little thing hoops on as well. They're the only ones I want to wear right now, to be frank. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how, how everything's come out. Um, that 35M palette, for the price, I think is really good. When I look at it, I just see the blues. I don't see the purples or all the neutrals, like the deeper ones or the oranges. I just see the greens. That's why I bought this palette. And hopefully, for those of you, I get asked a lot, like I said, to do looks with this. So hopefully this has given some of you some satisfaction. Um, if you did enjoy the video, please do give it a big thumbs up because it really does help me out. Leave me a comment down below because I do reply to all of my comments. And also subscribe because it is just the polite thing to do. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. And also a uh, special thank you to my Patreons because your financial support, assistance, help is just so greatly appreciated. You don't even understand. And yeah. We will soon have our giveaway and we will soon do our first Patreon only um, video so keep an eye on your emails because I will send, put a post up and hopefully that goes to your emails. I don't know how it all works. We will work out. So that is it for me today. Thank you again for watching and I really hope I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!